What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Jay Prince has set the internet on fire all week and this time he got Quavo in the headlock and Quavo's a willing participant. Now I know that's a hard pill to swallow. I know that's not the outcome we all hoped for and I say that because we was in denial about the whole situation. We kept asking questions like this. How come Quavo not cooperating with the police? How come Quavo not speaking on takeoff? How come Quavo not defending Offset from Jay Prince and Mob Ties? And the answer is simple. The answer is because Quavo don't want to. And the way Jay Prince is applying pressure on him, to be honest, I don't think he had much of a choice. Now, I seen that million dollar worth of game interview with Jay Prince. Jay Prince kept sending warning shots at Quavo all throughout the interview. He kept warning Quavo, whenever you speak, you better share the same sentiments as I. You better corroborate my story. You better not speak a negative word about Jay Prince and Mob Ties. Y'all remember that? Let me play this clip for you guys right now. Let's go. Here's the thing. Takeoff is not the only one got hit that night. You know what I mean? A friend of, of ours daughter got hit in the head. You know, so somebody could have been mad about that and wanted to come back and, and do some things. So they was there with, with the homie. And you hear that? Jay Prince said, the woman who got struck in the head is part of Mob Ties. That's my friend, daughter. Quavo, remember that. You started an argument over a basketball game. You made a threat. Your partner you was with had to strap out, causing DJ Pat to fire. And my homeboy, daughter, got struck in the head. Quavo, you remember that. You injured one of ours. And we stayed with you that night because some people want to do things to you. So you better look out for us like we look out for you that night. That is what Jay Prince saying to Quavo. Because when we first heard about other people being injured, we heard it was Quavo assistant, and then we heard it was a woman that got struck in the head. And everybody was trying to figure out, who was she? Why was a woman there? What type of environment was it? Was the woman with Quavo in them? Or was she with Mob Ties and Jay Prince? And it comes to find out, she was with Mob Ties and Jay Prince. So Jay Prince is just warning Quavo, we looked out for you. My homeboy still want to get at you for that. So you better remember, if you say any negative word about us, I'm going to let my homeboy get at you. And trust me, it ain't going to be pretty. And that's the real reason why Jay Prince and Mob Ties is mad at Migo Bands and Quavo. It's not about Takeoff. They don't give a damn about Takeoff. Takeoff was just an industry friend. They really mad that their homeboy daughter almost lost her life in this foolishness. That's why when Jay Prince initially made his statement about Takeoff death, he was saying, who's the blind shooter? You can't stand near me. You can't stand behind me. He was mad at DJ Pat for almost taking out his homeboy daughter. It's not about Takeoff. That's why he defending DJ Pat now. You see, when she was fighting for her life in the hospital, Jay Prince had a different sentiment toward DJ Pat. Now that she fully recovered, now that Takeoff is still dead, um, Jay Prince is back happy now. He won't DJ Pat out. You get my point? But let's continue. I've decided to speak. He gonna validate everything we're saying. Quavo, you know what I mean? Because he know he was never abandoned. He know he was never disrespected. He know every time he have came to Houston, it been nothing but love and respect. That's why he came so many times. It's a hell of a thing to have access to power and not use it. And when I think about the machine, my homie Pete him got out there in, in Atlanta. You know what I mean? I went, you know, we flew to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I talked with the homie head up. I talked to Quavo head up. You know what I mean? Since this situation happened. You hear that? He said he flew to Atlanta he talked to QCP and he talked to Quavo since the death of Takeoff. So that means Quavo's in agreement. That means Quavo is okay with him disparaging Migo Bands, calling him a rat, saying he should be arrested. That means Quavo has co-signed on it. And I say that because Jay Prince is saying Quavo is going to share the same sentiments as me when he speak out. Quavo is going to share the same ideas as me about this situation when he do decide to speak. Watch what I tell you. That is what Jay Prince is saying. He also sent in a message to Quavo saying, hey, I'm going to repeat myself again. When you speak, you better say everything I'm saying. But let's continue. And that's power. 
and, and what I'm thinking about right now is I would have loved to have seen somebody with his team here with Quavo versus, you know what I mean, one of them other people, man, that don't know how to think. So if you got access to power, it's important to use that access. To the homie Quavo. You hear what he said about Quavo? He said it's a shame to have access to power and not use it correctly. Basically he's saying, Quavo is at fault for this situation too because he brought Migo Bands around. He should have brought somebody older. He should have brought somebody that was smarter. You can't bring a dummy around mob ties and cause hell. So you got blame in this too, Quavo. That's why I wish you would have brought one of P people with you instead of one of your hoodlums from the hood. That is what Jay Prince is saying. So now he taking belt the ass on Quavo. Pay attention, listen closely because Jay Prince he says important things. He says some very interesting things in a roundabout way. You gotta really decipher. You gotta really break his situation down when he speaks because he says a lot without really saying nothing. But let's continue. Ain't nothing changed <clears throat> where my love is concerned, where Quavo is concerned. So, you know, they're gonna come a day, they're gonna come a time that everything we saying, Quavo gonna have the opportunity to bear witness that this is the truth. You know what I mean? It's how it went down and from A to Z. And I look forward to uh, seeing that day. But even more important than that, you know, like I told him the last time I saw him, you know what I mean? It's, it's love here. You know, it's love here. And uh, I look forward to that uh, coming back together soon. Now, I think Quavo is in a lose-lose situation. If Quavo speaks out and back Migo bands, say they was attacked, he got a problem with Jay Prince. Now, if Quavo speaks out and corroborates Jay Prince's story, say Migo bands acting incorrectly, now he got a problem with Takeoff family, now he got a problem with the public perception of him. They gonna say he's mob ties. They gonna say he's scared of Jay Prince. So I think Quavo kinda doing right but just remaining quiet, but you gotta corroborate with the police. You have to speak to the police because if you're going to be sharing tributes of your nephew take off, if you're going to be crying at the Grammy stage, if you're going to be talking about how much you miss them, then you should want justice for them. So when the police ask what happened, who did it, how did this transpire, you got to be upfront and give them the real deal. Damn the streets. Damn about who's snitching, who telling. And I ain't snitching because you was a victim in this situation. You guys was attacked and it could have been you instead of takeoff. Think about it like this. If Quavo was laid out and Takeoff survived, I think Takeoff would cooperate with the police. I think Takeoff would want justice for Quavo. So Quavo, you got to return the favor. You got to share the same sentiments as that. That's all I'm saying. Because by you being quiet, by you throwing Migo Benz under the bus, it proves one point. That Jay Prince got more pool with you than Migo Benz. Migo Benz put his life on the line. He had the strap. He was ready to roll. He was ready to protect you. Yes, he acted stupidly. Yes, he played a part in this whole situation, but it still stands correct. Migo Benz was willing to go all out for you, and you don't even back him. You don't even corroborate his story. You don't even go to the police and say, yeah, Migo Benz back was against the wall. We was attacked. He had to do what he had to do. You owe him that much, right? That's all I'm saying.